what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort of do my personal preference, which is a combination skin slash plucking. Um, thighs and turkeys, legs to me, and wild turkeys, because they work for a living, are pretty darn tough, and they are best for like long, slow cook things, and the skin breaks down, and you don't get that crispy loveliness out of it. So, but with breasts, you can fry them, or like pan fry them, or do something like that, and it's not bad. I'm just gonna pluck. And the breast feathers pluck pretty easy. Just moving across, getting as many as you can off. If you miss a couple, you can always come back at home with the pliers and grab on. One of the reasons I do this is because I like to keep the carcass. Um, some people will, you know, just skin them out and then debone them essentially. Um, I'm a fan of the carcass for making broths and stocks and things, but it's perfectly acceptable if you do. Extra tail feather. So now, I'm just about done with my plucking part. One of the hardest things to do on a wild turkey is especially the wings. So they are very, these are really in there. You're not pulling those out. They're pretty tricky to, but I like keeping them. I'm gonna pop this knuckle here. Oh, there's some BBs. So, about a few BBs. Copper plated. What size like shot were you using? I was using, I believe they're fives. Either fives or sixes. Turkey's skin, as opposed to other birds, is pretty stiff, so you can like grab her on and it's not gonna like rip a giant hole in it. Um, you get into other birds, they can have a pretty soft skin that if you grab onto it and really pull, it'll just rip a giant hole. It's not really the case with turkeys as much. A little more BBs in the body than I wanted, I think. So in Montana, where I have traveled to, you have to keep legs attached as proof of sex because turkeys have spurs, males do. Um, he's a young one, so he's little tiny nubs, but he will eat extra tasty. Thanks. Get a little bit closer. So now, I'm gonna stop there so when I can get back over here, I can cut the fan off. Because I would like a fan mount where I, you know, the fan's on a board on the wall to kind of remember the fun trip. And the memories. So you can really.
really grab a hold of turkey skin pretty. It's tougher than the average bird skin. Good way to practice this is on chicken. Because all birds are built exactly the same. This wing. Steve, can you just hold him up? Thank you. You could probably get some rope and hang him easier. Oh. You don't want to mess up his tail. Because you'll notice it's very, very pretty. <laughs> so you just <laughs> yes, I will keep the neck <laughs> because. After I get it cleaned up, I'll probably be able to make stock out of it still. See right there, the tailbone? You can just slice through it as cartilage right there. You can take this muscle off. That's how they fan out their feathers. That. We'll make a really pretty thing on the wall. He is very pretty, and he's now very naked. <laughs> mm -hmm. 